Kirsten, on tonight's episode, Shaq learned where these high standards of yours come from. Take a look at this clip. Yeah, and speaking of providing, it kind of goes back to, like, how my dad provided for us. Like, he provided a home for me and my mom and my sister and brother. Like, so that's why sometimes you may feel like I'm putting, like, a lot of expectations on you, but that's what I see my dad as. When I meet your dad, I'm going to be taking notes. When that day comes, he'll definitely tell you everything you need to know. Until that time comes, you know. Still haven't let him meet your dad yet. I know. I still, it's taking time, okay. you know, because my dad didn't attend the wedding and he's always working and I didn't want to take him to my dad's shop to meet him because I want them to have like a more intimate setting to sit down and so talk to each other. More, I'm just curious, do you realize that he's frustrated having not met your dad? I don't understand how he's so frustrated because it's like I'm telling him and I'm trying to make things happen for him to meet my dad. Like, sometimes my dad was out of town, like, when I would want them to meet or, like, he wasn't available. So I did take initiative several times for Shaquille to meet my dad, and it just didn't happen. And I can only do so much as a person to get that organized for them to sit down and meet each other because I really wanted to be intentional and I really wanted to him to have the moment to have certain conversations and Are ask all the questions. Are you afraid of what your dad may think of Shaq? Mm -mm. I'm not okay. afraid at all of what my dad may think of Shaq. I feel like the most important thing is them having that relationship. Sometimes it's just like you said, literal, literal communication. Like, hey, I actually called my dad. I did. I did do that. he's busy on Saturday. Or... My dad is still uncomfortable with this. Yeah. I give him a little bit more time. time. But this time. kind of, uh -huh. yeah, it was a time when Shaquille and I, we were driving down the street, and I said, hey, Dad, I have Shaquille in the car. He was like, hey, Shaquille, how are you? Like, they had that connection because they didn't get a chance to meet. So I'm like, at least let me call him real yeah. fast and let Shaquille know to reassure him that I am trying to build this relationship and navigate this relationship for the both of you guys. But it goes back to when you're not on the same page, mm -hmm. that communication, it gets real crazy because right. people are hearing things from their own perspective mm -hmm. and the, the own feelings that they're going through. Oh, yeah.